Okay, hello everyone. This is a training video on Craigslist Cash Cow. I'm going to go over everything, uh, how it works, including proxy rental, which is what I use uh, for IPs because it's the only one that has new IP addresses every day. So I'm going to show you how to make a new account using proxy rental if you're making a new account in a city that's you know more than 60 or 80 miles away from your city um, so what we what you can do if you wanna make your first account in a city that's uh, more than uh, 60 miles away then you can just click on this link uh, to siphon through all the cities and IPs for the day you basically click here and it'll cycle through all the cities and if you want to make a new account you just click on that link and it will give you it will log in to Craigslist of the closest city that has a Craigslist posting uh, capability. So in this case we're in Gibsonville, North Carolina but the closest Craigslist city is Greensboro, North Carolina. So when you click on this link the browser will open up in a new window. <clears throat> Make sure Internet Explorer works because this is the browser that we're using with the application. So it automatically opens up uh, into that city. It opens up into this category. And then you just go ahead and make a new account. I usually use job offered. Continue. And you just go through all the you know ways to make a new account uh, if you don't have a an account set up yet this is how you do it you would just click on apply for an account and then you would need an email address and then you have to go to you click on the link for your email address and if that pops up then uh, you proceed anyway obviously Craigslist is okay so then you just type in an email address and you have to go to that email address click on the link then it sends you back to Craigslist and then you'll have to make a Craigslist account using that email address it's uh, very simple and then once you get <clears throat> the Craigslist account that's active then you will come back over to the software and you're still logged in to this to this Craigslist and this IP so then you would type in the email address up there whatever whatever it is and the password and you log into your account <clears throat> you'll see it pop up down here if that pops up let's click yes and you are logged in and this will be the Internet Explorer browser down here just exactly like you were in Craigslist so to make a new account of course when you logged in you won't have any posts here so then you will have to make a new post and 
if again if you're more than 60 to 80 miles away from the city that you're in then you'll need to stay logged in to proxy rental because then the city that you're in when you post will be the IP uh, of that city or close to that city so for a new account uh, or, or their first new post you would log in just like this and you would go um, new posting and you would go to the drop down Greensboro North Carolina because that's what you're in you would just hit go yes your computer will run slower when uh, when proxy rental is is activated so just make sure you got other applications shut down and you know use this on a computer that has a pretty fast processor and and plenty of RAM so you are now uh, in Greensboro North Carolina you were logged in and for your first post you would just post like anything else if this is not um, the category one well, has all the categories here you just click on the category you go through the windows you make a post and hopefully it goes live I'll get into the ads later I'm not going to get into what type of ads work best I use primarily text ads and, and no images sometimes I use images but most of the time I don't the first time you're posting an ad for a new account uh, try to use no images uh, you have a better chance of it going live and uh, just just use text uh, don't use any crazy words like free or you know of course you cannot put links in anymore live links so you can just type out a URL and they have to copy and paste that into a browser so once you get your uh, account and it posts live then you are, are all set so when you post and so let's go let's log out of this account And we'll log in again. Okay. So let's assume that you have an ad that got posted and let's assume after 48 hours you either have a renew button or a repost button so then when you log into your account you will see a repost or renew button you know down here and that's when you would switch over to um, the repost tab these other tabs are you do not worry about the registration right now tab one is where you would start and then it's just like you were in uh, Craigslist you go through all the tabs for the new ad if you want to add images this is where you would do it and of course your first ad they're going to ask for a phone verification number PVA number and you would type that in here and click via voice and they would send you a voice message uh, PVA numbers is a phone verified number and I will instruct you where to find those 
and you'll only use it once. They usually are good for 60 to 90 days, so you can post a lot of ads under there. Um, let's go to the repost tab, but for now you can clear your history under the file name which you should do before every post and it will detect your IP address. Okay, now we're in the repost tab and this is has its own browser and tab one has its own browser. So if you have a an account that has reposts and you usually get a repost when you don't have time or you forget to renew the ad, uh, Craigslist will give you it'll turn to a repost and a repost is just like a, a new post and it has to go through four windows and so that's how we built the software to automatically go through the all the windows and actually get to sending you the email associated with your Craigslist account and then that link will be in your email account what I do is forward all my email accounts that are associated with Craigslist accounts to one email address. So then those uh, automated uh, emails from Craigslist will go to your email account and when they show up just click on the link that says to post your ad and make it live and then the ad goes live. So this is how the software works. Uh, right now you have to manually uh, use your own proxy or proxy rental. So if I wanted to post in the Greensboro Craigslist right now, um, that's where I would be. I'm at this this IP address. So when I turn on the software to repost, you just click by hours Put one and start. And you can also do this in tab one, but you might as well do it in a repost tab because when the software goes through and looks for a repost, um, you will see the windows changing in this browser, not the browser in tab one. So the repost is for the the browser and the renew ads uh, is are the same thing it it is now looking for repost and renew the renew part is only one click and the software hangs up a little bit and tries to reloop so we're fixing that today and we will probably have another tab up here just for renew and then this repost tab and then brand new accounts you would use tab one as I said um, before each account you want to log out and you want to clear the history so once this is set then you would just leave that account alone okay just just leave it like that and you can minimize it and then for a second account you would minimize it right click click here and another window will load the 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 software can be used with unlimited windows okay now 
you can see that we have two windows open for the software. If you go down here and you will see this is the one account that we just already set up and ready to repost and then now another account you have to open up another window so we've got another account opened up here you would go to tab one it remembers the other one so you would log out of this one then you would put in a another account in this window and you would do the same thing you would if it's a brand new account then you would make a new account just like we did before if you want to change the city you just cycle through the cities until you get a new one sometimes the city that you want to post in will not be available but most of the time uh, the city will be or one close enough to it um, we do not have it integrated yet to automatically go through the cities and find your city but that is the next version hopefully in a month we will have all this integrated so that when you have a new account or you want to repost um, it will automatically cycle through the city before it automatically reposts. It will find the city or the state, depending on the setting, and then it will repost. So you won't even have to cycle through the cities, which will save you a lot of time. So for another, your second account, you would put the email address, password, you would log in, let me see if I can find another um, email address. Um, let me see here. And then you would just do the same thing. If it's a new account, you would start with tab one. You would log in with proxy rental. You make the new account. You would go back to your account, log in here to the account, you would log in, and then you would make your first post. So, and then for the second account, you would do the same thing. You would come over here, go down, right click click on shortcut to program menu and another window would open up and you do you would do that for your account so what you're trying to get to is that you have 20 or 30 uh, windows open down here each window is a separate account each window has one account in that the software will go hunt for repost you can um, you can uh, we do not know the limit to how many windows you have open but um, I don't think I really don't think there is a limit things will move slower when you have proxy rental activated that's the price you pay for uh, using a good proxy proxies that the change every day so they're very difficult almost impossible to uh, detect as I said your IP address may not show up with proxy rental and that's a good thing because you don't want it to show up so this is how it works